Hi, my name is Dr. Tony McCanta. I'm a pediatric cardiologist and heart rhythm specialist at Chalk Children's Hospital. Today we're going to be talking about an arrhythmia called supraventricular tachycardia. So supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT, is one of the most common tachyarrhythmias that occur in children and young adults. It's an arrhythmia that circulates between both the atrium and the ventricle. SVT presents as abrupt onset of palpitations or feeling of your heart racing out of the blue. They often come along when the patient isn't doing anything, so it's very common that the patient will be sitting at home watching TV and all of a sudden their heart will start racing very fast. Uh, with the heart racing fast, some people will experience a mild chest pain. Some people will also actually experience dizziness as well. The reason that these arrhythmias occur is either the patient has an extra connection between the atrium and the ventricle, or the normal electrical wiring of the heart, which is called the AV node, has two connections right around the middle of the heart, and it allows for a, a circuit of electricity to occur. SVT or supraventricular tachycardia is, is caused by really either one of two causes. The first and most common in younger children and uh, neonates, even in fetuses, we'll see it, is an extra connection between the ventricle and the atrium. Uh, the other potential cause that tends to become more common in, in middle-aged children and then young adolescents, and is the most common cause in adults, is an abnormal circuit right around the middle of the heart, which is called the AV node. SVT is really treated three ways. Uh, the first thing I always tell families is that this is a non-life-threatening arrhythmia. And I found that that tends to uh, set things in proper perspective. So then the treatment is based on that fact that they are non-life-threatening. You don't actually have to treat SVT. They can be very sporadic and if people know that they're in them, they can, we can teach them maneuvers to get themselves out of the arrhythmia, which includes putting ice on their face, um, massaging uh, their carotid right here, uh, or even bearing down, kind of grunting. All of those things can actually get you out of SVT. If a patient can't successfully get themselves out of SVT, then there are medications that we use to terminate the SVT in a more acute setting in the emergency room. And then long term there are medications uh, and the medications are all very safe but they do have some side effects and then there is radiofrequency ablation procedures. After an ablation procedure the, the long term outcome is excellent so there's a 90 to 95 percent chance of complete lifelong success with about a 5 to 10 percent chance of recurrence.